Hi guys, um, this is Alan from Hesse Financial. How are you today? So, what well, for today? I actually want to talk about the um the shortage that I talked about yesterday again. So, which is the parabolic with the simple moving average. So, well, again, it's a really good strategy for trading trend markets. So, I just want to bring up your attention again just before I move on to the next strategy. So, just make sure you don't miss you don't miss out this good strategy. So, okay. So, well, um, first let's set up the indicator. So, just click on this little guy right here yep just click on it and then first we'll select the um, simple moving average put a tick right there and then we'll open the drop down for the moving average and then we will just select the SMA3 so we only keep the SMA1 and 2 to select SMA3 and then next we will go to parameter yep just go to parameter right there yep and then for SMA1 we are using 10 SMA2 we are using 20 so yep that's it for this uh, for the setting for the simple movement average and then next we'll move on to the parabolic so um so yep just put a little tick right there and then open the drop down okay so um well for the parameter for the parabolic is um 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 so again step is 0 0.05 and uh, max is 0 0.1 so okay so the last thing we need to check on is the um chart period and option period so for this strategy the chart period we are using a 10 seconds chart period and then for option period we are using a 30 seconds option period so um after we get all this done so now we are ready to get okay so well um first let's take a look at this market here well it's looking good it's uptrend so you know what I'm gonna do okay so well I'm just gonna open a trade here first and then I will explain to you how to do it okay so well um, again the timing for you to hope open a high option is pretty straightforward so first we look for uptrend and then after we confirm there is uptrend in the market we will look for a blue dot that is appear below the candlestick after that we will finally confirm the moving average and then if the moving average crossover and then the blue line is on top of the red line we will open a high option so that's how easy it is and now the trade is ended in profits so uh, well, what I'm gonna do now is just to fast forward a little bit just to wait for another trading chances to come just browse a bit on different currency pairs just to um, compare which one I should enter the market and um, just to look for a to look for the best chance okay so well um stop it here and this one looking good and just place a trade here first and I will explain it so okay so now we can see the market is in a downtrend obviously so um, now that um, I have a red dot that is appear on top of the candlestick and then next I will see, I see that the uh, moving average crossover and um, the blue line is below the red line and then that's why I opened it a, high, uh, a low option there and now it's gonna be end in profit so okay two trades in a row and uh, yep alright so now again I will fast forward a bit and um, I will just to stop at when the chance comes okay so just keep browsing and waiting keep browsing and waiting okay yep stop here and again it's a downtrend and the uh, and the the um, the red dot is on top of the candlestick and the, um, the moving edge average crossover the blue line is below the red line so okay so well um, for this strategy the downside is actually um, you need actually need to wait for a bit for the um, for the purchase timing to come but then what I can suggest you is that while you finish one trade you can um, quickly um, switch to other currency pairs to look for another purchase chance so um, in that way you should have more trading chances so now I'm just fast forward and then again I'm um, just to wait for another purchase timing to come okay so um, yep I will stop here and then uh, I say downtrend again so yep just open the another trade here so okay so again the parabolic with SMA simple moving average is good for um, trend market but then uh, when if the if the well the market move every day and then but then if the market is not in trend market today you can um switch to another strategy which was the um the parabolic itself that i talked about the other day and then uh that was good for range market so 
Uh, depending on the market situation, you can actually um, change the strategy around just to fit the market, just to aim for a better profit chance. Okay, so now the um, the trade is finished and we are looking at the history today. So, okay, so I make four trades today and then all four trades were end in profit and then um, I do have a $280 profit in total. So, well, that's a good, that's a good, um, a good result for today and um, uh, well, I did struggle a bit yesterday that I was um, spending quite a lot of time to look for a good purchase timing, but then today I actually learned from yesterday that I would uh, I was just keep changing um, currency pairs to trade with and then uh, well another tip for you is that um, if you don't like to wait you can just open two charts together so that you can trade with two different currency pairs at the same time and then which you can have more trading chances so okay so um, just a quick sum up on the strategy so um, um, the timing for you to open a high option is when the um the when when the market is in uptrend and then we will need a blue dot to appear below the candlestick and then next the last we need to confirm that the um the moving average crossover and then the blue line goes above the red line and then after all these criteria submit we will open a high option so um okay move on to the timing for you to open a low option is when the market is in a downtrend and then next we will look at the parabolic and then if the red dot is appear above the candlestick and then next we will confirm the simple moving average if they cross over the blue line is below the red line and then um, that's when we open a low option so um, pretty simple and the most 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 important thing is that you make sure to use this strategy in a trend market so um, um, before you use this strategy, the first thing you need to look at is the trend. If then if it is uptrend, you only go for high. If it is a low, if it, if it is a downtrend, you only go for low. So yep, that's all you need to watch out for this strategy. And um, um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good strategy for trend market. So um, give it a try. And uh, well, if you do have any question, um, just put a comment down there, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And yep, that's it for today, and I will see you soon again tomorrow. Bye. All right. Well, that's pretty much it about this strategy. Uh, well, um, just to make sure you leave me a comment down there if you want to see more about this strategy. Otherwise, I will try to look for another strategy and show you guys. So okay. So just make sure if there's anything you don't know or if there's any request you have, make sure to put a comment down there, and I will go through it and I will see which one that I can uh, make it in the video for you guys. So okay, so well, if you like my video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video. And I will see you soon again tomorrow. Bye!